Hello. In this module, I would like to introduce to you some of my research that we have conducted to try to understand if Chamuyi lifestyle medicine may have any benefit to the children with autistic spectrum disorders. First, let me briefly explain what is autistic spectrum disorders. Center of Disease Control and Prevention State Autistic Spectrum Disorder, ASD, is a developmental disability caused by differences in the brain. So this is a developmental neuropsychological problem. People with ASD often have problems with social communication and interaction. They have restricted and repetitive behavior or interests. People with ASD may have different ways of learning, moving, or paying attention. My question is, can the Chamuyi lifestyle medicine improve the cognitive function and behavior of children with ASD? Experiments that have been done by us, including study the effect of Chamuyi diet, the effect of Nai Gong, which is the mind body exercise we use in Chan Wu Yi, and also the effect of a six month program. The first experiment I would like to explain to you is the study of Chan Wu Yi diet. The design is like this We have 24 children with ASD. We randomly assign them to have Chan Wu Yi diet or no change in diet for one month. This is the Chan Wu Yi play. We encourage the children to eat with a balanced diet. In every meal, about half what they eat is vegetable and fruit, a quarter is whole grain, and a quarter is protein. We encourage vegetable protein as much as they can. They also are taught to have whole food plant-based diet, eat variety of vegetables in five different colors, and avoid garlic, green onion, ginger, and spicy food. This is the demographic information. The two groups are matched in terms of age, education, IQ, and severity of their disorders. The measure we use is neuroscience assessment which measure their cognitive flexibility and inhibitory control and also parent interview. What is cognitive flexibility? Cognitive flexibility is the ability to transfer from one concept to another and to switch our thinking from one dimension to the others. This ability helps us to adapt to a new environment and willing to change. Cognitive flexibility ability is impaired in children with ASD. Inhibitory control is the ability to control the impulsive response in order to make a more appropriate behavior. For instance, we control our temper outbreak in a stressful situation. The ability to focus on relevant stimuli in the presence of irrelevant stimuli. Inhibitory control is also impaired in children with ASD. Let's look at the result. Children with ASD in the experimental group, those who changed their diet for one month, demonstrate significantly improved mental flexibility and inhibitory ability as compared to control group. Children who had changed their diet saw 62% improvement in mental flexibility from baseline, and those in the control group saw only 4% improved. On the test of impulsivity, experimental groups saw 37% improvement, and control groups saw only 3% improvement. We have a subgroup of children who is in the low-functioning level. 
Fortunately, they showed a similar change as the other high-functioning children. Let's look at the parents' report. The improvement we see in the neuroscience assessment is consistent with the parents' report in which the parents report the improvement in social communication and flexible inhibitory control of their daily behavior. The improvement shown in the experimental group is significantly higher than those in the control group as according to the parents' report. Let me summarize the result. First, children who have changed their diet for one month demonstrate significantly improved mental flexibility and inhibitory control. Similar effects on the low-functioning subgroup. Such improvement is consistent with positive evaluation by their parents. In contrast, control group did not show any significant improvement. The next question we want to ask is can the Nigong, which we use in the Chang lifestyle medicine, has a positive effect on children with ASD? The purpose of the study is to compare the effect of Nigong with the conventional progressive muscle relaxation technique which has been used for relaxation if this technique can help to enhance the self-control of children with ASD. Nigong is a type of Chinese mind-body exercise that aims to improve the muscle, bones, Broad cheese and also cultivate peaceful and concentrated mind. In this experiment, we have 46 children with ASD. We randomly assigned them to learn Naigong or progressive muscle relaxation for four weeks, um, twice per week. The experimental group, those children who learned the Naigong, demonstrate significantly greater improvement in self-control than the control group. The Nigon group showed 23% improvement on a test of mental flexibility, while in the control group saw only 12%. The significant improvement in the experimental group also consistent with the parents' report of reduced autistic syndromes and increased control of temper and behavior. In this graph, you can see the difference between the control group and the experimental group. We are also interested to study the neurophysiological mechanism behind the change of behavior. In our previous study, we found that the anterior cingulate cortex of children with ASD are abnormal. This is a terrorist coordinate of ACC in here. The results find that the experimental group but not the control group saw an enhanced EEG activity and the anterior cingulate cortex after one month's training of Nigong. As you can see in here, this is the experimental group, and this is the control group. Next, we aim to see if Nigong can improve the learning and memory of those children. The results show that children who have learned the Nigong show significantly improved learning and memory as compared to those who learned the progressive muscle relaxation and the weightless control group. We measure the EEG during their memory assessment. Before and after the training, all subjects were tested individually on a computerized visual memory test while the EEG signal was acquired during the memory encoding phases. And what we find that there is an increase in theta coherences in the Nigrum group, but not the two control group. Besides, the fatal source activity during memory encoding was enhanced in the Nigrum group, but not in the two control group.
as you can see in this graph. Let me summarize the result. This study provides evidence that one month of training in Naigong has a positive effect on enhancing the self-control of children with ASD. This cognitive enhancement is consistent with significantly elevated brain activity in the anterior cingulate cortex of the experimental group. Parents in the experimental group report reduced autistic syndromes and increased control of temper and behavior of their children. In contrast, this improved brain functioning and elevated brain activity was not observed in children practicing progressive muscle relaxation. In addition, children in the Nigrum group demonstrate significantly enhanced memory performance and more effective use of memory strategies, which is not observed in other two control groups. The improved memory after the nigon was consistent with the finding of elevated EEG flater coherences between the frontal and the posterior brain region as a measure of functional coping. The increased EEG signal was in a neural network that is associated with effective memory processing, including the prefrontal cortex, the peripheral cortex, and the mesial and inferior temporal cortex. This alternation in neural processing was not found in children receiving progressive muscle relaxation or those who receive no training. The present findings suggest that Nigong in the Chanwuyi Lifestyle Medicine program may have the potential effect on modulating neural functional connectivity underlying the memory processing and hence the memory functions in children with autism. The next question we would like to ask is the effect of Chan Wuyi lifestyle medicine on children with ASD. Since the previous empirical study find that learning one component, such as changing your diet or learning the Naigong, of the Chan Wuyi lifestyle medicine enhance their executive function and related neuroactivity pattern. This study aims to explore the effect of a six month Chan Wuyi lifestyle medicine program. In this study, we have 30 children participate, half received the training and half serve as a control subjects. So in the first month, we have P assessment, and then we have six month training, and then we have the post assessment at the eighth month. The two groups are matched in terms of age, gender, education, and IQ. The results show that a people comparison demonstrates significantly improved inhibitory control mental flexibility and planning ability in the experimental group, but not the control group. At the baseline, there was no difference between the rating of the control and experimental group parents regarding the severities of daily behavior related to executive dysfunctions of the children. After six months, the children who had changed their lifestyle was reported to have fewer behavioral problems related to executive functions, including abilities of self-control, socialization, communication, where children in the control group did not show such improvement. The Ethlorita analysis also reviewed significantly increased activity across the PFC and ACC regions, particularly in the right hemisphere, during an inhibitory control task in the experimental group only, while the control group did not show any significant alternation in the neural system as shown in this graph. In conclusion, this study supports a positive effect of the Chan Wuyi Lifestyle Medicine Program in children with ASD, 
for improving their executive function and behavior. Now, let me share with you a case report. KY is a nine year, five month old right hand boy with mental retardation and autism. He has received one year of physiotherapy at age 1.5 and five year alternative treatment, including acupuncture, energy training, and Qigong since age two. He has delayed sensory, language, motor, social development. His parents brought him to CUXK at age seven for conventional neuropsychological intervention. KY was trained on impulsive control and attention by a clinical psychologist for 30 minutes per week for a year. This involved functional communication training, behavior modification, and training the social skill. He also did 30 minute daily practice of a computerized attention and impulse control training. And you can see that after one year, we do not see much improvement on the cognitive function of KY. After no improvement was sold in his inhibitory control and memory function, which remained to be moderately and severely impaired after one year of conventional training, his mother agrees to try the Chan Wuyi Lifestyle Medicine program. These two graphs show the result of the conventional training and the Chan Wuyi Lifestyle Medicine training. As you can see, after 12 months of conventional training, there's not much improvement on memory. This graph has showed the improvement after one month and eight months of Chan Wuyi Lifestyle Medicine program. And you can see the, imp the improvement of memory is much higher than those of conventional training. This is a graph to show the improvement of executive function. Again, for the conventional training, we don't see much improvement after a year. But after one month and then eight months of Chan Wuyi Lifestyle Medicine program, you see quite a lot of improvement on various kinds of measure of his executive function abilities. We also measure the cordon's intensity of KY. Cordon has been proposed as an indirect measure of blood perfusion, where high perfusion implies higher metabolism. In the baseline, you can see that there is a lot of blue area in here, represent a lower quantum intensity. And after eight months, you can see that the quantum intensity has increased. Let me make a conclusion. The present study has provided encouraging finding on the potential effect of the Chan Wu Yi Lifestyle Medicine program on improving the cognitive function and alternating the neuroactivity of a children with low functioning autism. It implied the possibility of applied Chan Wu Yi Lifestyle Medicine program as a rehabilitation program for patients with severe brain disorders. In sum, the Chan Wu Yi Lifestyle Medicine program may be a cost effective intervention for children with cognitive and behavioral problems. This is the end of the module. Thanks for your attention.